All right, y'all, here we are. We're about to record the banana guard video. So here we go. We officially claimed our banana guard. Apparently he's really good. So I'm pretty excited to try him out. Um, we're gonna check out his perks. So it seems like one of them gives him a shield basically whenever he's uh, charging up one of his abilities. Um, so it's really good maybe in twos whenever you're trying to like protect from like, you know, zoning teams or whatever. And then his ice, hit one of them basically applies ice after you cry, which I think is one of his taunts or something, or one of his specials. I think it's like down special or something. And so then you'll apply ice and so you'll make them slower. So let's try that out, I guess, right? And here we go. We're against the mirror match. Good to see, bro. Let's run it. Good luck. Very excited to try out Banana Guard, everybody. First game on him. And uh, let's just say I'm going to try to be the best. Let's do it. So right off the bat, what do I know about this character? He's got really good buttons. I think he has a good side special. His side air. Oh, his side air. Oh my god. Okay. Let's do some specials. So uh, his working out thing. Now I'm buffed. That forward smash is insane. His neutral air is ass, dude. Unless I'm tripping, that shit looks horrible. Never let bro cook. His up air does not kill. Jab does not kill. I have to work out to get a kill. Okay, yeah, I do. Working out is huge on this character, apparently. You know what's gonna be broken is instant air dodge cancel into there. It's gonna be really good. His up air comes out so fast that it seems to be a really god here combo tool. His okay, it also kills W. Get it twice, W. His neutral attack is just so bad. <laughs> Classic jump over him strategy. Let's go. W match TMZ. Let's run back the re let's run back the uh, the mirror match. That was really fun, bro. He's pretty good. Uh, his 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 attacks don't feel as impactful as they are. Like it doesn't feel like I'm hitting them very hard, but at the same time I'm doing like 15% every attack. It makes no sense. So the whole thing with this character is his forward smash and his side B just literally kill. Like that is his whole thing. His side B and his forward smash just do so much and kill extremely early I mean that's actually not bad though <laughs> the thing is you can threaten with it too that's what's insane like what i just did yeah you can't up air continuously never mind i thought you could get like crazy things with it this nair's got to be one of the Worst moves. Unless I'm just using it completely wrong. Never mind, I am. I might be. I think you have to just like space it really like closely. Like maybe it's one of his only combo moves, but you just can't be very like you can't just throw it out for no reason. Or it's like a is it like supposed to be a sex kick? 
Sorry, that's a terminology for whenever you throw out like a... Like a... Kind of like a fast, like, falling neutral air that is meant to be like a combo starter. Like Fox. Like if you guys have played Fox from Smash Ultimate, his, his neutral attack in the air. Um... Is, is a perfect example of what I mean. Like that, like you're supposed to... This is this is supposed to be a little bit of a uh, a shaggy kind of character, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Steven, oh lord. I've heard some... I've heard some things about this character. This character is definitely um, guilty of multiple war crimes, I'm not gonna lie. Um, his down air is god tier now. Any of you guys out there who Steven mains, bro? Y'all better be happy. Y'all ate this patch, bro. Just just wait. But he's, he's pretty insane now. So. But it is what it is, though. He kind of needs it. What? Ah. The reason why people are gonna hate Banana Guard is literally just because his side special is just so OD. And of course it doesn't kill that time, but the move is insane on like really small stages. He is okay, like, like his, he doesn't really combo at low percents, but he does land, like, I feel like he does have the opportunity to land plenty of strings. that dare to hit so bad, bruh. I almost just killed him because of his own shield, dude. <laughs> GG's, yo, Johanna Ka Kajo, Kajo, whatever, dude, whoever that is, a fantastic match, man. Here's my overall thoughts. Day one on Banana Guard, right? So, first thoughts, he's gonna be very popular with the beginners. I'll tell you that for sure, man. He is very beginner friendly. His kit's not too complex. His combos don't feel super difficult to learn. And his kill power is pretty good. His side, or his, uh, you know, I guess it's a side attack, right? Where he slashes the spear forward. Literally knocks so far away, kills it like 100. His side B is good, both grounded and air. Even though it is a little bit committal, if you have a good read on your opponent, it kills so early, is so strong, so active. Um, his jab is pretty good. Uh, it combos into just about anything in his kit, so his jab is at least a good combo starter. His down air is all right. Um, his offstage game is all right. I think that his... I don't know. I haven't really gotten to test much with his neutral B and how it affects his kill power. But I've heard a lot about how cheesy it makes him and how he can like get like 60% kills and stuff like that off that. So overall, let me know what you guys think down below. I definitely think Banana Guard uh, is going to be very popular. Uh, he is a little bit, like I said, cheap. And there's not a lot of crazy complexity to his kit. But I think that his kit is still pretty fun, um, despite being pretty simple. And I, I enjoy playing him. Let me know what you guys think down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.